everybody! Welcome to the How to Free Up Disk Space on Your Mac video. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips about how to free up disk space on your Mac. Regardless of whether you have a MacBook, MacBook Pro, iMac, Mac Pro, or even a Mac Mini, finding ways to reclaim disk space on your computer comes in handy after you've been using it for a while. Disk space fills up fast and a lot of MacBooks and MacBook Pros only come with 128GB of storage. So that fills up even faster. Using some of these tips will help you reclaim space you didn't even know you had. The list of tips I'm going to share is not exhaustive. So if I miss a way to reclaim disk space you think I should have discussed in this video, please let me know in the comments below. I'm going to discuss these tips from simple to more advanced. So if the first couple seem too trivial, hang in there. There will be something for everyone. The first tip is one of the most simple, yet still overlooked by many. Sort through your downloads folder. Most people have a default folder they download things to temporarily on their Mac, such as zip files or TV shows they watch but don't go through and delete them when they are no longer needed. For most, this is the downloads folder. But if you use a different location, then look through that. Delete all the files you have downloaded. Sometimes it's amazing how much that, that alone adds up to be. Once you've gone through your downloads folder, Go and empty the trash. And for those that are not sure of what the trash is, the trash is where any files that are deleted from the Finder in macOS go to. They are kept here so that if you later change your mind, the files can be rescued. If you are a previous Windows user, then the trash is equivalent to the Windows Recycle Bin. And while we're talking about it, I would recommend emptying the trash regularly to keep the most disk space free. There are many ways to do this, but one of the easiest ways is to locate the trash on the dock, usually on the far right, Control click or right click on the icon and choose Empty Trash. If you run into any issues with that, you can also empty the trash by opening the trash and clicking on the Empty button in the upper right hand corner of the Finder window. Once you opt to empty the trash, a confirmation window will appear reminding you that this action cannot be undone. So make sure you actually want to delete everything that's currently in the trash. When you're sure, then choose Empty Trash in the confirmation window and the files are now permanently deleted. It even makes a cool little paper crunching sound. Next, I would recommend going through the apps folder on your Mac and deleting any apps you don't use regularly, as they too take up disk space, sometimes multiple gigabytes. There's no point in keeping apps on your Mac you've only ever used once with no intention or need to ever use again. However, one exception to this would be the utilities folder. Leave those apps in place, as they came with your Mac and are utilities that may be required in the future. Only advanced Mac users that know what all of the apps actually do would be able to make an informed decision about whether or not to delete those apps. Once you've deleted any apps you don't use, don't forget to empty the trash. Then I would recommend emptying all of the operating system caches and temporary files. The easiest way to do this is through restarting your Mac in safe mode. This one's pretty simple. First, before doing anything, locate the shift key on the keyboard. You will need to use this key to get into safe mode. Once the shift key is located, click on the Apple logo in the upper left hand corner and choose Restart. When the Mac shuts down, press and hold down the shift key as the Mac restarts. You can let go of the shift key once you see the progress bar appear on the screen. Your Mac will take longer than normal to start up, as safe mode not only deletes all of the font caches, kernel cache, and other system cache files, but will also boot into a special mode that is meant to help you troubleshoot computer issues. I do not recommend trying to use your Mac in safe mode, as many features will not work and many apps will not function properly. It is merely a tool to help professionals and experts troubleshoot issues if they arise. Once your Mac is finished booting up in safe mode, and you can see the desktop, click the Apple logo in the upper left and choose restart again to restart back to normal mode. Sometimes clearing the caches through booting to safe mode will even speed up your Mac. The last way to clear up disk space I'm going to talk about is somewhat advanced. Before you actually delete anything, remember not to delete something if you're not sure what it is you're deleting. It's better to play it safe and not delete it. Please bear this in mind with this last tip. There is a tool on your Mac that allows you to manage all files and shows you how big they are. It's called the Mac Storage Tool. To get to this tool, click on the Apple logo in the upper left hand corner. Then click About This Mac, and then click Storage in the options presented along the top of the window. Then click on the Manage button. This is a tool that Apple provides to help you manage your main storage drive. 
There are many options, some of which are even useful for this topic we are discussing today, but I'm only going to go over one use of this tool in this video today. If you'd like to learn more about this tool, let me know in the comments below, and if there's enough interest, I can make a video about all the options in this tool. We're going to use the features of this tool that will help us locate large files on the computer, whether they are user, app, or OS generated, so we can delete the big files we don't need. To do this, click on the documents to the left. This will bring you to the file size view, which in itself can be very useful. If you see any files on this list, like video files for example that you have downloaded and no longer need, you can delete them from here. Remember, using this tool not to delete something unless you know what it is. The main feature I wanted to show you from here was the file browser option. This shows you the size of each folder on your Mac so you can actually see how much space everything takes. But remember, when in this view you are also seeing needed system and app folders and files as well. But there are some things you can delete from here that you may not need. You'll need to investigate on your own to figure that out. This tool may even remind you of folders you created in an unusual place and forgot it, but no longer need. It's a very useful tool, but never forget to be very careful with it, as it has the power to damage the operating system or any app as well. Bearing that in mind, you can explore your storage using this tool and see what's here. And if you think you've found something you can delete, then you can go research it on Google to see what it is, and if it's safe, to delete. Perusing your computer through this tool can be a bit time consuming, but you'd be amazed what you can find. Those are just some of the ways you can reclaim or free up disk space on your Mac, but there are many others such as removing language files, deleting temporary internet files, or even other features of the Mac storage tool that I did not explore in this video. If you'd like to learn more ways to free up disk space on your Mac, you can let me know by leaving a comment below and giving this video a thumbs up. While you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos every Friday. If there's enough interest, I'll make a second video explaining more ways to free up space on your Mac. Well everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one!